The saints are our friends. They're our true friends. My favorite saint I was introduced to in the fourth grade by my um, teacher, and my favorite saint is Saint Therese of Lisieux. And um, one of the things that that she says in her autobiography is that when she went on pilgrimage to Rome to, uh, to see the Pope and to ask permission to enter the convent, she went to the catacombs where Saint Cecilia died. And um, she says that she left there with, with a real friendship. Sometimes we think of the saints, you know, we say a prayer to them and then they go to Jesus with our request and they hand him the request. They're sort of like switchboard operators, which, which they're not. They're, they're, they're alive, literally alive in Christ. He mediates the relationship we have with them. So, so they really are true friends. They really are people that accompany us. Find someone whose life resonates with your own, whose life speaks to you, and then, and then you know, talk to them like you would any, any friend. I think we have to open ourselves to, uh, to the experience of their lives intertwining with ours. I have a very simple faith, so I just, if, if, if the church tells me that I have access to all of these friends of Jesus, okay, then I do. <laughs> I accept that. I was raised that way by my mother. She talked to St. Joseph all the time. She walked around the house talking to him. She'd ask him to help her find things, and she'd have these conversations. Well, I just thought that was normal. I talk to my friends in heaven all the time, just as I'm speaking with you. That's how I talk to them. And I expect them to help me grow closer um, to Christ. And I expect them to show me the ways in which I'm, I'm becoming an obstacle in that growth towards Christ. Find somebody to be your friend and invite them into your life. And I guarantee you'll track me down and say, I'm, I'm glad I listened to you because it has changed my life.